Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use several large language models or LLMs in one interface side by side to compare results. This includes ChatGPT, Google Gemini, Claude 3, and several other AI models that again, you can use right here side by side in just one simple interface. But before I dive into more greater detail of this tutorial, I first want to let you know about my free guide on the best AI side hustles for generating passive income online. Now guys, I personally use some of the side hustles I outline in this free guide where I've made more than $5,000 a month in passive income online. And you can find this guide in the video description or pinned comment below for more details. So diving back in, ChatHub is the name of this tool that I'm referring to. If you're using Google Chrome, all you need to do is go to the Chrome Web Store, type in ChatHub under search extensions, and you would click install extension here. I will leave a link to this and also their official website in the video description below if you guys have more details. So on their website, they have more general information. They have some FAQs if you're into that. Um, but this Chrome extension is rated 4.6 out of 5 stars and has over 617 ratings with over 100,000 users as well. So it is gaining popularity. It's been around for several months. I've heard about this a while ago, uh, but the tool has improved. So I want to make an updated video for you guys. So once you have the ChatHub Chrome extension installed, you'll notice I actually have a prompt already here pre-written. I'm just gonna go ahead and click clear conversation as this is what it would look like for you just getting started. So in this example, I'm going to use a couple simple prompts so we can compare side by side and why a tool like ChatHub is beneficial for use. But before I plug in any prompts, I first want to explain some of the AI models ChatHub supports, some of the settings, the premium features, uh, things of that nature if you're brand new to what ChatHub is. So on the left hand side, you can toggle it here if you want. You'll see the models supported by ChatHub. We have ChatGPT, Google Gemini, Claude 3, Bing Copilot, Perplexity, Llama 2, and Mistral. Now, one thing I do need to know is that this is GPT 3.5. This is Gemini, uh, whatever the free version of Google Gemini is called. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's the free version of Gemini. And this is Claude 3, the free version as well. I believe it's Claude 3 Sonnet. It's not Claude 3 Opus. I believe it's Sonnet. So it's the free version of Claude 3, Bing Copilot, Perplexity, Llama 2, which is Meta AI or Facebook's LLM, um, and Mistral, which is becoming a popular large language model. Now, if you come down here and click settings, you notice you can toggle on and off different chatbots. So you'll see Pi is toggled off if I click show more. And if you wanna toggle one of these on, you would simply click it and it would ask for additional permission. Simply just click allow and you can start using what other these other chatbots that uh, ChatHub supports, excuse me. And so right here we have Grok as well. So I'm gonna allow Grok. Uh, Wizard LM, Gamma, I've never actually heard of these. Queen 1.5, Vicuna, Yeechat. There's so many LLMs out there now, guys, that I haven't even heard of half of these. But the other benefit too is let's say you want to use GPT-4. You can input your own API key. Same with Gemini Pro, same with Claude 3 Opus, which is the paid version of these tools. You can put in any uh, API key that you would like and you can start using them inside the chat hub interface as well. You can also add a custom chatbot if you want to do that. Um, there's all sorts of other options here too. Now, one thing I want to know is that there is a premium version. So I'm going to click Save Changes. There is a premium version of this tool. If I come back to the home screen where I click Premium, you'll see that it does cost $39 for a lifetime license to use ChatHub. So this includes all-in-one mode, web access, full text search for chat history, custom chatbots, customized theme, quick access, and priority customer support. I do not have the premium license, but honestly, guys, $39 isn't a bad price tag for a lifetime license. The only issue I have with that is like with anything in AI, I'm very hesitant to buy a lifetime or even a multiple month package or annual package as these tools come and go as there may be a better iteration of ChatHub next week for all that we know. Um, so I'm going to come back and click all in one. And again, if you're on the free version, you're going to get this pop up. I swear almost every time you click something within the chat hub extension, simply click the X button here. And now I'm going to test this in real time. So I'm going to come back to my uh, collection of prompts here. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to ask it something just for basic AI copywriting. Generate three tweets on the topic of AI and how it is changing the world. Use a maximum of 280 characters. Make the tweets engaging, unique, and easy to understand. So I'm going to come back here. And one little trick 
is if you try to do it down here and click enter, you're gonna get this premium pop-up every single time. So what you need to do is go into each individual window and then copy and paste that prompt into each individual window here. So I'm gonna click enter, 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 and then enter. And you'll see here simultaneously, they're all generating responses for the prompt that I gave them. And so why this is so beneficial to have multiple windows using multiple LLMs is like for this example, generate three tweets on the topic of AI and how it is changing the world. I can use this for ideation. So let's say GPT 3.5, I don't necessarily like the tweets that it created, but if I come over to Gemini and I may like some of the tweets that Gemini created. And if I wanna see what Claude 3 comes up with, I can see what Claude 3 has in store for the prompt that I give it. Same with Bing Copilot. So that's why this is so beneficial is when we're using prompts and you can compare the different responses of LLMs side by side. Because keep in mind guys, these LLMs are not trained on the same data sets. Claude 3, for example, is operated by Anthropic. Their training data is a lot different than what you see from GPT-3 or GPT-4. Um, because ChatGPT is being trained on a different model. All right, so the next quick prompt I wanna try is a simple recency question. So you'll notice I have Bing Copilot. I'm actually gonna switch that out for Grok uh, as I'm curious as Elon Musk just made Grok open source. So I'm curious if it'll work without pulling in my premium uh, subscription or however else this tool integrates these types of LLMs. So I'm gonna come over to my prompt library and I'm gonna go to my recency prompt. What is the current price of Bitcoin? Now, some LLMs struggle with recency and some do not. So I'm gonna go and paste that into each individual window here for GPT 3.5, Google Gemini, Claude 3, and also Grok. So I'm gonna click enter for each one and let's see what these tools come up with. So like I expected, chat GPT, I cannot provide real-time information to access current data. And again, I there is an option that says web access, but if you're not a premium member of Chat Hub, you can't get web access. Claude 3, I apologize, I do not have real-time data on cryptocurrency. Not surprising there at all. Google Gemini, as of right now, March 19, 2024, which is the date and time of this video recording, the price of Bitcoin is fluctuating. Here are some results that I found, and it provides two links to Coindesk and Binance. And guys, that is where Google Gemini has always shined, in my opinion, is the recency aspect, because it's pulling data straight from Google search results. So that's cool to see as well. Now, Grok, I asked it, what is the current price of Bitcoin? And it says Bitcoin price today, but there is no other options to click. Uh, if you actually go to the Grok interface, sometimes it'll pull tweets on the bottom, uh, but it looks like that is not the case here. I'm just gonna ask it quick again. Um, and it says Bitcoin price today. Oh, now it actually answered. The current price of Bitcoin is 65,466.74. Um, if I go to just another tab, I'm gonna say, what is the price of Bitcoin? And we'll see, 65,463. So Grok was actually the most accurate here, which is really interesting because Gemini gave me two responses that had a little range. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and clear the conversations and we'll do one more simple prompt. Um, and I'm gonna come back to my prompt library. Let's just do this one. Ryan has 10 books in his office. He read five of them. How many books are left in his office? Just a basic problem solving prompt. And the answer is 10 because just because you read a book doesn't mean it necessarily comes out of your office. And you'd be surprised how many large language models can't get this right. So if I come here, I'm gonna paste on ChatGPT 3.5, click enter, paste on Gemini, click enter, Claude 3, click enter. Uh, let's do Grok, click enter. And you'll see here it says, let's see what these all say. Chat GPT, 10 books minus five equals five books. Uh, that's incorrect. Claude three, 10 books, five, five books, incorrect. Gemini, five books, 10 minus five, incorrect. Well, it seems like Ryan's office is still home to all 10 books. The fact that he read five of them doesn't mean they vanished into thin air. They're just sitting there patiently waiting for him to pick them up again and perhaps share them with a friend. So Grok is the only one that answered that basic, basic problem solving prompt correctly. So that's it guys, that is ChatHub. That is how you can use multiple LLMs in one simple interface to compare outputs with ease. Again, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. Appreciate you all watching this video. I hope you found value. If you did find value, be sure to like this video. Also leave me a comment below. Are there any other tools like this that I'm missing? Are you guys using something similar? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you didn't find value in this video, feel free to give me a dislike so I know what to create in the future for you guys. 
And also be sure to subscribe to my channel at AI Insider Tips so you can stay updated on the latest AI tutorials, AI news, and just anything else that I believe is important to cover for you guys in the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. I hope you all have a great day.